Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you're here with this video, you've got some grommeting to do. And either you can go the cheap, slow, and effective way, or you can do something a little bit more automated that's gonna be highly effective. Hang with me for a few moments, and I'll show you some great solutions. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. It looks like you've got some grommeting to do. And depending on whether or not you've got just a little bit, maybe it's a smaller project or a little bit of camping gear, and you only have a little bit of grommeting, then you can go with this type of approach where you just get a very cheap, inexpensive manual kit. You can get these at Harbor Freight. You can order them online through Amazon. And what these consist of is a hammer in punch that you're gonna literally use a hammer and smack that into a backup block like this to cut a hole. And then you're going to use this anvil and place uh, your grommet on it and put the piece over it and put a ring and smack it shut. Well, we're gonna watch you through that very quickly so that if you've never done this, we can show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna show you another machine that if you've got a lot of grommeting, if you're an event organizer or you're an outfitter and you've got a grommet, things, you gotta make this investment. All right, let's take a look at this system. Let's keep in mind the first thing that the purpose of the grommet is to reinforce a hole that you're gonna put along the edge or what's sometimes called the hem. Some banners and materials are actually hemmed, fold over, and that greatly increases the strength. But in this, this is just a single ply vinyl banner. And so I'm gonna place a couple of uh, grommets. Generally, you wouldn't have them this close, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna put them about right there and there. Now I could pound right into my work table, but I love my work table more than that. So what I'm gonna do is just put this on top of a backup block, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here over at center on that hole, and I'm gonna just smack that in, kind of going around and around until I can take this, knock it off, and there I have a hole. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and do the next one as well. I'm gonna place it right there smack and I kind of rotate a little bit so the cutting edge cuts through everything. You can see right there, there was a little bit left. So now we have two holes, but you can see here, you have a backup block that gets beat up over, so you need to have some backup blocks and you can use these. If they get dinged up, you can sharpen them with a file. This is the low tech way, but now, we need to mount the grommet in it. And notice I put the grommet in far enough from the edge that it helps resist tear out if this is your tie point or your securement point to um, a sign post or something like that. You're gonna line up what's called the anvil. That is your anvil down under the hole. And as you do so, you're gonna take this grommet half, the type that has the edge sticking up, place it on the anvil base, and then protrude that through the hole. So now you've got that there. Take your retainer ring, and I put it so it's, see there how that goes tapers down versus flanges up? So taper down like this, and when you do, now put this punch tool down on the top, and we're just gonna strike it a couple times. And when you do, that swedges down that lip onto the top of that, and that's what you've got now as a result. Now these come in aluminum and, um, and brass. Um, depending on how much salt air and that sort of thing may make a uh, difference on the quality of the grommet, but the kind that you get from uh, Harbor Freight and most of the mail order are just general quality. Let's go ahead and do that again just for repeat. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this right under there, the anvil. We'll go ahead and put the part that has a sleeve sticking up on the top of the anvil, put that over the hole, put this sleeve down over the top, and then pound it into place. And we'll just put that in there, smack it a couple times, and there you go. We now have grommets on both sides of this right here, and this will greatly help if you were hanging this across someplace in a windy area, you could stitch rope in and out of it. But you can see, even with this being effective and you only have a little bit to do, it becomes pretty time consuming. In our case, we probably had a thousand grommets to put in over some uh, vent signage, and it's different event signage we do year after year. So it's time to change up the game and make this efficient 
and do everything at once. Let me show you the tooling for that. Okay, and the second approach is to invest in a grommet machine. And this machine costs about $80 plus freight and tax. It was around $90 to $95 all in. And it came with these sets of grommets, these dies and everything that does the job, a basic tool kit, and then this nice little manual that's just very simple. And it does a very nice job. It's very heavy and well constructed. Now, how this works is that each of these size grommets, and you can see we've laid them out. You have the number uh, or ot or zero, number two, number four. And you can see the various sizes here. And in millimeters, these inside diameter, six millimeter or roughly equivalent to a quarter inch. Number twos are 9.5 or nine and a half millimeter inside diameter, roughly three eighths diameter inside. And lastly, the larger grommets, number fours, are about 12 millimeter, roughly a half inch inside diameter. Now to make these different grommets work with this machine, there is a set of dies that go with each one of these with an anvil plate that goes in the bottom and a presser part that goes in the top that actually drives the grommet through the material that you're grommeting so you don't have to have a hammer and a die. You simply load the machine, place the material. The machine is a fixed stationary, and we'll show you that in a moment. And then you move the material to be grommeted to the place you want to grommet, and then you're going to simply press this down. So what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and use uh, these larger ones right here, the 12 millimeter or about half inch. So what we'll do here is we're going to take this part, and on the top part of the machine, right up under this piston, it's threaded and you simply thread this in and get it to where it's tight, finger tight. You don't need to wrench it down or anything like that. And then I hold it in the top here, there it goes, that's good. And then down here, you can go ahead and put this in and to make it resist lifting off, uh, you don't need to see this, but there is a set screw on the back side of this that allows me to simply cinch that down and make sure that doesn't lift out on every grommeting cycle. So now the machine is set up to use this size. Here, let's reset the area and I'll show you a sample. All right, let me right away point out a difference between the manual system we showed you earlier and what we're gonna do right now. In that first system, you bring the tool to the work. That is, you move it around the edge of the ham, you might shuffle around the banner or the tarp a bit, but generally speaking, you move around with the tool. In this case, the tool is mounted in a work table position, clamped to the table, or if you're gonna do this, a lot of these, you can screw it right to the table, but you also need a bigger work surface, a place to undo the roll of material, another place to take it up so that the banner stays safe. And now you bring in unwrinkled, and now you bring the work to the tool. Now you can see we placed the right size die and punch here, and how this is gonna work is different from the other. You remember when we did these over here, the sharp side came up through it. We're gonna do the opposite here. You're actually gonna use this pushed onto there to punch a hole through, and you're gonna put down on the receiving end the clinch ring here or the backside of the grommet. And what we'll do is then just bring this over. I've indicated a dot right here. And then we're just gonna push down. You'll hear it crunch nice. Go ahead and leave it right there. Let it up and notice what happens is this comes back up and there I can just take that and lift that out and now have a completed grommet in one move. There's the backside, it's very clean and the hole is punched out automatically. Let's do that one more time just for pure enjoyment and for repetition. We put the uh, sharp side of the grommet on the top facing down to serve as the die to punch a hole. Then we're gonna put this receiver ring down on the bottom anvil, place this under the center area we're gonna punch, bring the machine down, punch it till you feel it come down and, you can, and actually we would clamp this or screw this down more. But now as we've done that, again, I'm just gonna lift that out and you have a very nice grommet that's ready to go. I think for under a hundred bucks, if you're a major producer of grommet uh, product, grommeted products, 
or an ongoing event organizer, this is a great little tool. You can see in the links below where we bought it from and other useful information might be helpful to you. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it and better yet subscribe and when you do ring the bell so that you'll be notified approximately every Saturday of another great episode around the home, the garden, the kitchen, or just great tooling that makes life a lot easier. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.